This program is brought to you by Schools Division City of San Fernando, Pampanga High School, and Pampanga High School Special Program for Journalism. For today's news on point, PHS holds online graduation ceremony for 1,394 senior high school. FOSFET leads Thanksgiving activity for the school's non-teaching personnel. New four-story building to rise at Pampanga High School. Philippine athletes compete in Tokyo Olympics 2021. Live from the Lantern Capital of the Philippines, San Fernando, Pampanga, this is your primetime news source. This is News on Point. The pandemic did not stop the Pampanga High School special program for the art students with proving the exceptional talent and skills through the showcase of talents in artistic recital or start 2021. Star 2021 premiered in Kaganap on PHS TV YouTube channel last Sunday, July 25. It featured the talents of SPA students from PHS Rondalia, Visual Arts, Drum and Lyre, Theater Art Skilled and Dance Troupe. The program was kicked off by singing the national anthem followed by a doxology and then chanting the Depet San Fernando hymn. PHS Rondalia members led by Rondalia moderator Sir Joel P. Cueco presented first with three inviting songs namely Blood Etnica, Atin Ko Pong Sing Sing and Aroko Timyats. While PHS visual art students followed as they showcased their imaginative and exquisite obra maestra, drawings, paintings, comics, and handicrafts from the students led by Sir Chester M. Pastol gave up admiration from the viewers. PHS drum and lyre students, on the other hand, grooved in songs Mabuhay, Sinokwan, Aruy, Maring Maring, and Walang Angay, made possible with the help of Ma'am Zaira Mariti Bayan. PHS Theatre Arts Guild led by Sir Richmond Joseph Roque once again gave their best in showing what students and teachers had gone through the year as they experienced the pandemic. Grade 8 students Mart Ivan Kayanan and Lanche Fernandez along with Grade 9 and Grade 10 students sent a heartful lesson from their skit giving off inspiration and motivation to everyone. Last but definitely not the least, PHS Jan's troop led by Sir Eliezer Kamaya made us look back to our Kapampangan roots. School officially broke ground with its new four-story 20 classroom building for the junior high at a ceremony in July 14. State-of-the-art facility incorporates the teaching and learning environment for the junior high school students. Honorable Mayor Edwin Sanchago said that through the new project, areas of great excellence will be built to prepare the junior high for helping future professions that are high in demand. Fishians will use this facility not only to hone their skills, but also to learn to serve others with compassion in the future. According to the school head, Madame Lynn Esguera, the whole community of PHS recognized the strength and strategic importance of these programs of the local government unit of the city of San Fernando. She further put emphasis that the resources of this four-story 20-classroom building will enable the students and faculty of PHS to be even more competitive in their teaching and learning situation even amidst the health crisis that we are currently facing. From how the high schools of the culture of the agriculture department has recently held a home bargaining contest for deficient teachers with themes sustaining the implementation of the Bunyan Sapanadan program in public elementary and secondary schools nationwide. Pampanga High School's Agriculture Club of the Agriculture Department recently held a home gardening contest for fishing teachers. With the theme sustaining the implementation of Puligan Sa Paaragan program in public elementary and secondary schools nationwide. The friendly competition aims to promote awareness on the nutritional and economic benefits of implementing Puligan Sa Tahanan program. Winners from the activity were Ma'am Christine M. Abarquez for the Best Wooden Garden Model, Sir John Paul S. Manesse for Best Implementer Garden Award, Ma'am Regina P. Flores for the Most Economical Garden Award, and Sir Julius B. Villanueva for the Most Environmental Friendly Garden. Isang karangalan sa akin at nakakataba ng puso na mapili ang entry ko sa gulayan sa tahanan. 
bilang most environmental friendly garden. Ito ay sa panguna ng Agriculture Department ng Pampanga High School. Naway magsisibi itong modelo sa mga tao, lalo na sa mga mapagmahal sa kalikasan. Ang pagre-resiklo sa mga bagay na patapon na sa pamagitan ng pagtatanim ay tanda ng pangangalaga natin sa inang kalikasan. This school activity allows teachers to become more productive, to have a hands-on learning experience in agriculture, to value the importance of planting vegetable crops that can support our daily lives and which could be a potential source of revenue, especially during this pandemic. The pandemic is never a hindrance to celebrate hard work and achievement for the young learners in Pampanga High School. That's why an online graduation ceremony was held for more than 1,300 senior high school students of PHS. Here's Erica Raimundo for the details. A total of 1,394 senior high schoolers from Pampanga High School graduated in a virtual ceremony on Friday afternoon, July 16. This is the second time PHS is at the graduation ceremony in this manner. School head of PHS, Madam Linus Guerra, gave a speech to the graduating senior high schoolers in which she noted that graduation day is not the highlight of great applause for such token received, but rather accentuating the individuality on how far they set their limits. Keep in mind that adversities are not an exemption to the rule of having success. Sure, you will face obstacles and trials. Just hold on to this character that is very crucial. Continue to dream, to believe, and to survive. Our graduates, it is clearly seen in your outstanding achievement, and it is a well-deserved pride. Addressing 1,394 graduates coming from the different strands, humanities and social sciences, accountancy, business and management, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, tech vocations and livelihood, and general academic strand. Madam Lin encouraged them to hold steadfast to values of respect, integrity, innovation, excellence, and resilience during these challenging times. Meanwhile, at the ceremony, Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Imelda Makaspak delivered an inspirational message about learning and celebrating achievements despite the pandemic. How can we celebrate amidst the pandemic? We do not need to look far for we need only to look at our graduating students and learn from their resiliency in overcoming challenges in order to reach their goal of grasping their diplomas with their hands they have always been our inspiration and provided us the reason to do more and give more to them the welfare of our learners has always been the primordial concern of DepEd Division of City of San Fernando. In spite of the fact that many of our graduates have had to make major adjustments to their plans and career pathways, Assistant to the School Head Madam Loida Maglangue urged them to nurture a new mindset, to be prepared, to chart new paths, and to move boldly to seize emerging opportunities. Eric Caraimundo, News on Point. Fast track led the Thanksgiving activity for Green Crusaders, security guards, and the maintenance team of Pampanga High School to show appreciation for the important role they do in this time of pandemic. Here is Lorraine Ginto to give us the story. Salamat po, Fast Track po. Dakal po, dakal salamat. Karay po, teacher. The Pampanga High School Faculty and Employees Club recently conducted an outreach activity for Pampanga High School's non-teaching personnel. The activity aimed to extend little help to the non-teaching staffs of Pampanga High School as well as to show them a token of gratitude and appreciation for their hard work amidst the pandemic. Furthermore, the Pampanga High School Faculty and Employees Club President Mr. Ivan Salas led the act of kindness with the other officers of the said club. Yan actually kay si Panderin Kayabe King Pastet yan maluwat na ng uh, Buringgawan dapat ngayon niya pa may realize in Pastet kaluwa mo naman ni kami eh, itamong nga nabiyabe itamong kaniti uh, at itip uh, baka nita feel na naman din kayabe itamong kaya di kiniskwela na uh, i-appreciate tamo itang karelang contribution, karelang gagawan at yung malating bagay uh, asaw tamo bakanta naman uh, 
itapin, panamdaman na kaluguran talo at uh, i-appreciate kahit ang karelang gadawad. Sana uh, may tulala kung kaya katabong gawa. The Green Crusaders, security guards, and the maintenance team of PHS were the beneficiaries of the charity work conducted by the PASPEC members. Each beneficiary received a packed meal, long sleeves, towels, and some other goods. The act of generosity was held last 28th of May 2021 at 10 a.m. during the recipient's short break in avoidance of disturbing them from their work. The leader of the Green Crusaders, Mrs. Anna Marie Atienza, thanked the PASPEC members for the help that they received. Hindi po nga doon ngayon, may supresa kami po eh, kami pong uh, Green Crusader, na higit niyo po na apapansin niyo rin po pala yung kaya kami yung gagawang kaya school, at uh, higit niyo po, po na pahalagahan niyo kami po. Uh, nakakit niyo naman po na masanting po yung kaya kayong uh, alikain kaya kami karing uh, alimu karing teacher pati mo rin po karing uh, uh, utility ng kalupan ni po uh, dakal pong dakala salamat Mr. Salas expressed his gratitude to the school principal ma'am Lynn Esguera for granting the opportunity to help and to all PASPEC members for their continued support that made the gift giving activity possible Okay, so thank you, uh, thank you, Ma'am Lynn. At pasalamatan tayong principal, din na nakatang pagkakata o higawan iti. At uh, karing kayabek yung paspek, karing mga sipag ka mong kayabek yung paspek. Yung paspek, sabi ko pinita mo nga, uh, adayabe, may papanantabi. Yan yung paspek. Thank you very much, kaya kayo nga. This is Lorraine Gintu, News on Point. Up next, Philippine athletes compete in Tokyo Olympics 2021. With the aim of promoting the mental health activities in the country through the provision of clinical services and public education, Republic Act 1106 aims to give mental health services to Filipinos. Thus, around 1.8 million Filipinos are clinically diagnosed with mental disorders. Therefore, as a solution to this kind of issue, National Mental Health Week is being celebrated every second week of October. To fight against schizophrenia and depression, the Department of Health aims to promote an overall wellness of Filipinos and strengthen the mental health services coverage of the country. Remember, asking for help is a courageous step that we can do to treat mental illness. Take care of your mind as much as how you take care of your physical health. This message is brought to you by Schools Division City of San Fernando, Pampanga High School, and Pampanga High School Special Program for Journalism. Pampanga High School gives pride to our very own teachers who won the 2021 National Literature Month contests. Results from the April to March 2021 competition participated by teachers all around the Division of San Fernando was released last July 23, where PHS teachers from the English and Filipino departments achieved triumph. With the theme, Philippine Literature Soaring Amidst Pandemic, PHS English teachers Ma'am Analyza Q. Alonzo won first place in feature writing contest for secondary level and Ceramil D. Sabado garnered first place in Tula or Poesia writing contest and third place in Storybook writing contest. Moreover, Ma'am Lila M. E. by won first place in Pagsulat ng Sinaysay and Pagsulat ng Tula. Ma'am Gail Baluit, Collected first place in Pagsulat ng Akdang Salin and third place in Pagsulat ng Sanaysay. Sir Donald Samuel S. Dose placed first in Spoken Poetry and Pagsulat ng Sariling Katang Kwento, while he is second in Malikhaing Pagkakwento. Ma'am Winnie Nuoy garnered first place in Malikhaing Pagkakwento and Sir Chandy T. Santos placed fourth in Pagsulat ng Sariling Katang Kwento. Philippine Bayaniha and Palace Education, the Department of Education, which was instituted on June 23, 1898, kicked off its 123rd founding anniversary celebration, choosing June 22. Here is Joanna Tumang to tell us more. 
Armed by their passion to improve the quality of education amidst the challenges of the pandemic, Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones led the celebration of the 123rd anniversary of the Department of Education, highlighting the important role of teaching and non-teaching personnel, parents, stakeholders, partners, and the community. During the virtual flag racing ceremony, Secretary Briones also mentioned the impact that the COVID pandemic has made. Still, everyone is encouraged to move forward for a better new normal. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the spirit of Bayanihan within the department through the support of parents, of teachers, personnel, partner stakeholders, local and national government officials. As we move forward to what we hopefully describe as the new normal, or the better normal, or the best normal, where COVID will have been conquered. The ceremony also gave way to the messages coming from DepEd officials, teachers, and learners, acknowledging stakeholders and the community for assisting the department in its mission. Furthermore, Secretary Briones emphasized that if today is not so good, there is still a bright future for all of us to hope and wait for. If the present is so bad, there is always the future to look forward to. The future of digitalization, the future of teaching our children more knowledge, the future of preserving our environment, and the future of creating a better life for each and every member of the Philippine community. Thank you once more and happy anniversary to one and all. Dr. May Batenga Eklor, DepEd Regional Director, Region 3, also delivered her congratulatory message to Department of Education personnel, government officials, teachers, parents, students, and other stakeholders for their support for the continuity of education amidst the pandemic. This is Joanna Tumang, News on Point. Nineteen Filipino athletes who were qualified to join in the Olympics will be contending in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. With over 200 other countries from July 22 to August 8 at the Japan National Stadium. The Philippine Olympians will be competing in some of the Olympics categories. There are four representatives under boxing, namely Yumir Marshall for men's middleweight, Irish Magno for women's flyweight, Nasty Patesho for women's featherweight, and Carlo Paalam for men's flyweight. Other athletics men's pole vault is Ernest John Abiena, Carlos Yulo for artistic gymnastics. Competing in weightlifting are Heidelin Diaz with women's 55 kilograms and Elrin Ando with women's 64 kilograms. Chris Nivares with rowing men's single skulls, Kurt Barbosa under men's taekwondo 58 kilograms, Marjolene Didal in skateboard women's street, Jason Valdez for shooting men's air rifle 10 meters. Competing for golf are Juvik Pagunsan in men's, Yuko Asaso and Bianca Pagdanganan in women's. Christina Knott for Athletics Women's 200 meters, Kiyomi Watanabe for Women's Judo 63 kilograms, while the competitors in swimming are Remedy Ru for Women's 200 meter butterfly, Luke Jabby for Men's 50 meter and 100 meter freestyle. Aside from the incentives given to the athletes, President Rodrigo Duterte is committed to give additional incentives who will be able to bring home a medal of any color from the Olympics. So far, a total of 30 million pesos is guaranteed for any Filipino athlete who will win gold medal, 15 million pesos for silver medal, and 6 million pesos for bronze medal. Courtesy of President Rodrigo Duterte, Philippine Sports Commission Incentives Act, the MVP Sports Foundation, and San Miguel Corp under Ramon S. Ang. This is Mitzi Kemba, News on Point. And those are the top stories for the hour. Delivering the latest and hottest news in the region, I'm Sebastian Amio. From the home of reliable news, a reference source straight to the point. I am the host Reyes. See you again in our next report. And I am the Curious Mamalo.
And this is News on Point. At Paris on Point Extra. This July, they will conquer the battle with their skills as their sword, their determination as their shield, their love of country as their strength, our sports heroes, the Filipino athletes. Their victory is a celebration. 